Hey, big bad baby boys. I wanted to play Valakia, so we're playing Valakia. So that's what we're doing. Hi, welcome to Victoria 3. Uh, intensive agriculture, go! Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, I, I, I will play uh, Venezuela from the, the results of that little poll I did of um, what nation you guys want to see next. I think Venezuela pretty uh, handily won that. But I just, you know, today I want to... I wanted to play Valakia. So, we're playing Valakia. Um, we want to be Romania one day. Let me see if it's it's in here. Nation. Uh, Dan okay, that's a that's a different one. Danubian state. That's a lot. Don't think that's going to happen. But Romania, maybe. Uh, may big, big. Big maybe. Um, so let me see what we've got going on at the start. From the looks of it, we have absolutely nothing. <laughs> In terms of urbanization, there's nothing here. There are two wheat fields and one livestock ranch. Fantastic. I guess um, the, whole, the whole vampire thing's really been holding us back. No journal entries. What do we have in our population? Uh, heavily peasants. Uh, we, we do have a million population. That's that's quite a bit, honestly. Um, our second largest group is servicemen. So we are, you know, for such a small nation, we have a pretty large uh, military. That's weird. Uh, but I guess good, because I don't think we've got a lot of friends around us. Are we going to have to take Serbia sometime? Let me see. No, Serbia means nothing to us. Uh, let's look at where, where to, okay. I don't, I don't understand that we have, like, no interest around here. This makes, this makes no sense. Okay, uh, let's, I wonder if there's, there's gotta be some kind of, um, diplomatic annexation, because I'm pretty sure historically, didn't they? Didn't they diplomatically uh, join together? I think that's right. I'm not smart, but I think that's right. Resources. Uh, I'm noticing we have no ability to produce lumber. That's not good. So we're going to start with a cotton plantation. Uh, oh, okay. We, do, we, can, we can do wood. Okay. I'm going to change that to wood then. Uh, wood and cotton, because, listen, I'm, I'm becoming slowly a smart boy. Let's take a look over at, where's that thingy, that's the thingy, this. It consumes fabric and wood, so if I make the fabric and wood really cheap, I build for cheap. Ah, look, look at how big my brain is getting. It can no longer be contained within my head. Uh, let's make some decrees, because we have, like, hella authority, and I don't even know what we're going to do it on. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think, I think that's all we're going to bother with. Let's take a look at doing some taxes, then. To get some extra money, money, money. Ah, let's just do, like... All these things that I don't think even exist, really, in our country. Uh, liquor, sure, that's a little bit of money. Tobacco. And let's make everyone happy by lowering the taxes just a teensy tiny bit. Uh, we have, apparently, no government. That's awesome. <laughs> Prince Alexandru. Alexandru. Uh, the landowners in power. Makes sense. Well, let's, let's not change anything, because they are 100% happy. We already have the right to assembly, so progressive. Uh, do we need police? I mean, not really. I don't, I don't want to pass that because right now we're like doing so good on bureaucracy. I kind of just want to keep the status quo here. Uh, yeah, but we are going to go in here to our government, bolster these guys, make them stronger. Let's, uh... 
let's become friends with the Ottomans and Russia. Because uh, I know that everyone around us kind of wants to keep the status quo here. We are in between these guys, these guys, and these guys, and uh, they'd prefer to not share border with each other, I'm pretty sure. So, if we get them all, you know, teaming up against Austria eventually, uh, I think that can help us to reclaim the uh, Romanian lands. We have a little heir, and he is a abomination. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Vampire blood strong. Okay. So logging camp. And, oh, we're part of the Ottoman market. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. So let's look at what luxuries. Uh, meat. Fabric. No fertilizer. Okay. That's what these guys produce, isn't it? Those... Oh, goodness. We need to... We need to spend more money. Okay. Uh, we have just maxed it out. Okay, 100,000, that's why. We have such a small economy. It's so easy to max that out. We need to uh, build more things. So let's do this. Uh, I don't know where it is. Here we go. One, two... Let's move these all the way up there. Uh, why are we using so much? From our alliance, Russia's improving relations. We're already, they're already happy with us, so let's do that. Uh, okay. There's nothing unique going on here. So, is there no way? Like, I want us to be friends. I mean, we are friends, but I want us, to, you know, to be special friends that get into bed together, you know? Uh, your treasury is stockpiling gold beyond its capacity. Yeah, we, we are, we, we're not spending enough. Uh, what to do? Okay, let's do that, because we need to spend more. censorship please no oof oh we got uh, peasant levies that will not be good oh we're a protectorate of the Ottomans so at some point we'll need to uh, become independent. We believe the Ottomans will join us uh, against Austria if we fight them. That might be something to keep in mind. I don't think that uh, we'll win. If we do that. But it would be nice to go ahead and take some of that Romanian land at some point. Oh, we're not building anything. We build too fast. We build too strong. Uh, let me see. Buildings, 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 buildings. Uh, we can do coal. We're just going to need to build everything here. Uh, because there is so little that we produce. Uh, then let's go ahead and do this. Um, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> I'm just going to end up using, uh, all the stuff we got. We can we can chill out on that now. Boom, boom, 
Boom, boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, we need to. Okay, this is this is something I'm realizing now that we might end up actually running into because we're building it all in this one province that we have uh, everything and we have a decent amount of peasants right now but I'm thinking we might end up running out of them and our population is shrinking I imagine everyone is immigrating it's probably why we have closed borders but if we can up our standard of living which let me see food grain is neutral some of these really important things are really expensive. I think that's the Ottomans' problem more than ours, to be honest. That they're not producing enough and they've got a much bigger population than us. Yeah, 19.6 million. We're only 1 million. So maybe uh, if we are independent, we can actually get Moldavia to join us. Uh, and we can become... One nation. Uh, okay. So let's stop. Let's actually improve with Austria. Because we might need to switch sides around here a little bit. We might need uh, Russia and Austria to get us free from uh, them, them Audi boys. Which I imagine they would, right? Like they would, they would be all like, "We want these guys to like us." Uh, and if we can do that, then maybe we can get Moldavia, and then we can try and like pit Russia against Austria, stuff like that. Big plans, big plans coming together. All right. Hold on. Do we have, do we have slavery? Please tell me. We ah, Falakia, why? Uh, serfdom, slave trade. How to, how to ban slavery? Okay, we need we need different different people in power. Let me see reform government. If I put the intelligentsia in, maybe then we can do some different laws. Unlikely. Unlikely. Uh, more likely. Unlikely. Unlikely. Oof. 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 Okay. Um. Let's try this first, because that should. If we can manage to get the serfdom abolished, I believe that that means uh, the landowners lose a lot of their power, and that should help us in terms of uh, then passing other things. I'm just wandering off from my country. All right. Banking, fantastic. We need the dollars. Many dollars, please, in my pocket. In the late We've got all kinds of things coming up okay uh gdp is going up which makes sense we're uplifting our nation uh very quickly because everything is in the same place uh away from being peasants i think uh it should be really easy to become a really modern nation uh when we have just one province <laughs> Damage article. Uh, I mean, our standard of living is already so crap. Don't think uh, a little, a little hit to that when it's already doing so terribly is going to be the absolute worst. Okay, we're starting to build uh, some factories now, which should actually make us some money, because yeah, uh, they're. Not super expensive, but they are overpriced clothes and 
Furniture for sure. It's gonna be making us money. Fantastic. Okay, this should be the, that whole positive feedback loop that I am just in love with. Soil enriched farming. It's gonna suck because we don't have any fertilizer, but if we do this, consumes more grain, gives us fertilizer. So now we should have some fertilizer in the market. Let me see. Yep. 22, we only need 16, so uh, grain should be much more affordable. Oh, we need to, we need to research something. Um, we can do lots of things. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, da, da, da. Mass communication for more authority. Um, I think what we might want to do is go with this because we can make um, our furnitures and uh, furnitures, all of our factories more efficient if we do that. There's no need for coal right now, but there will be. So you might not make any money right now, but eventually you will be very profitable. I promise. I promise. Uh, ooh, the Danube River gives us much more infrastructure. So we might ne not need to worry about going down the railroad line for a long time. Yeah. This land looks like it's very... Very sensible. Uh, very indefensible against, you know... The Ottomans and that we just have this big river and that's our only border um, but you know defensible on this side really open plains with the rivers running through it very very sensible that the infrastructure would be much more usable here okay uh, paper is expensive uh, we need to chill out on the construction boom boom uh, maybe even once this is up give it a pause and chill out uh, even more. Let's tax that luxury furniture. One more and... Oh, no. Need one more. Now pause. Okay. Let's pay this down. It should not take a long time because our credit limit and our investment pool limit is very low. Hey, we have a government now. Look at that. Okay, let's do that. Uh, because people are unhappy and I want them to be happy. We have such a small chance of success, that's the only way we can keep it being any chance of success. Paper is expensive. Yeah, screw it. Just gonna have a bad standard of living. We're over a million GDP already, that's fantastic. Uh, tiny boys becoming big strong boys one day. Okay, I think we can get a couple of these guys to join us, but we might want to chill until we've actually uh, built up a supply chain in our country, because I think we're going to have to ask to join maybe Austria or somebody else's, um, but I, I, you know what, I don't really like doing that, because I realize when I join somebody else's, uh, some other big countries, then I, I have no idea what I'm doing with building up my own, um, my own supply chain. So I'd much rather keep it being my supply chain and, uh, actually know what's going on in it. Because right now I feel like I have to be very conscious. I know I've already messed some things up in terms of, uh, having too much pulling from too small of an output. Like, I think, uh... Oh, tools don't even use any uh, steel, or any iron, rather. Yeah, okay. 
but wood is going to go into tools. 30, furniture, 30. Fabric is 10 and 40. Fabric production is only... Well, fabric production is 80, but wood production is not enough. I think we're going to have to max that out eventually anyway, so that might as well be next on our list after the tooling workshops. Uh, we don't have any sulfur. We could try and produce steel. I don't know if anybody wants the steel, but we could do it. Okay, I don't think... I think we, we, we shouldn't be worrying about our people right now. We should be worrying about getting ourselves out of this situation ASAP. So let's see if I can turn a profit uh, with... Is this... Is this doable? Yeah, I can still turn a profit while building here, so let's build. Build, 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 build. Oh my goodness. We're going to need to urbanize our state here a lot to make our GDP worth anything with just a million people here. Okay. What do you have here? Okay, so if we can conquer or integrate or do something with the Moldavian province, we'll get plenty more wood, it looks like. And that for sure will be necessary. Okay, there's some lead mines up here. Or there's the potential for lead mines, at least. And that looks like it for natural resources. And that is that is all the territory that I'll need to become... Uh, Romania, right? Yeah. Just... Oh, no, I lied. Uh, I need territory from... Everybody? Oh, this is gonna be rough. And it's not just like you can do it with a couple of them, right? Oh, I think, okay. I can do. It says one of three. So I think if I take one of the provinces, so if I can fight a war with any of these and take one of the provinces, then we're good to go. That makes sense. So I think that's what we want to do. Uh, we're going to have to probably fight a war with Ottomans to begin with. So we'll try and claim this state as well. Although I don't think it'll count if it's not unified, probably. Uh, and then maybe we can get Moldavia to join us. But again, doesn't count because it's unified. So we'll, only st we'll still only have one state. So we'll have to find Austria. Um, we could unify Moldavia and maybe get at least one of these two states from them. Um, and that will, you know, take care of the whole three issue. So at least two successful wars are needed. Which is a big ask for someone who has still really yet to complete one successful war in any, any playthrough. But, uh, don't worry about it. We'll be good. We'll be great. We'll be fantastic. I don't know why we're paused right now. All right, we've gotten a little bit of urban development. Fantastic. What's our urbanization? Still one. How much does each industry provide? Just 20. So if we build two more maybe, because these give five urbanization agriculture, 10 urbanization uh, the mines, five from... Okay, is it, they, they're all different? Okay, no. Mines give ten. Uh, resources... And farms give... Or the wood and farms give five. 
And these all give 20. What about government buildings? Construction gives 5. Government admin gives 20. University of 20. Okay. Alright. Makes sense. Things that would actually be in an urban center give more urbanization. Mining accident. Oh no. Industrialists. Yay. Alright. We might need one more industry. We're building lots of wood, and we're gonna need paper eventually. So, paper mill, welcome, welcome to the team. Uh, okay, precision tools finished. Let's go to society. Uh, more tax capacity. We don't need it. Our authority is running a little low. Let's get some more authority. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's build a big bad army. As much as we can. Ooh, we're gonna get cannery soon. Fantastic. How are the weapons? And they're oh, ooh, they're expensive. Let me see. Nope. No one wants to give us small arms. Or. Good price. Give me good price. I buy gun. Alright. We're still turning a profit, even though everyone hates us because we're taxing them real hard. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta break some eggs to make an omelet. Right here. It's a big Ottoman omelet. What's over here? Uh, we can build a tobacco plantation, maybe export some luxuries. Uh, okay, I still, I really don't understand the, the conscription aspect of this game, but, um, or like how to increase that, or I still don't, anything. Zero, zero understanding. Okay, this is what I've been looking for. I've just realized that this is a thing. Um, so potential, I do not understand. But this does make sense. The different markets, um, it shows you how expensive they are with these little graphics. So it's cheaper in France than it is in Austria by quite a bit. Uh, paper, here we can see the darker green I guess the more is produced there and here the darker green the more is consumed there okay is this this should be something like over here shouldn't it to our giant queue of militarization. I'm thinking, uh, you know what? Where's my kingy boy? Or my prince, rather. Alexandru. As, uh, as the whole Vlad the Impaler dude, you're gonna have to bring out that same amount of fierceness. You got the beard for it. You can scare some folks. Alexandru, I believe in you. Uh, I thought that was Chica for a second. <laughs> Alexandru. Chica. Very intimidating. Um, so, you're going to have to fight in the front lines, man. Be intimidating. Scare the hell out of the Ottomans. Make them leave us alone. That's what I'm going to ask of you. you got to do it. So once all of these are built up, uh, we're going to 
do this thing, and hope that we can get some of uh, these European powers to help and save us. Uh, Mr. Archduke, you're our only hope. Uh, or Kaiser, Kaiser Ferdinand von Habsburg. Um, do we have a better, like he does have kind of the chin, that old Habsburg chin. He does look quite inbred and he is very hated. This, this is making sense, but I mean like you could make him more like stereotypically Habsburg, right? I don't know if this actually looks anything like Ferdinand von Habsburg. I don't know particularly what he looks like. I just know that uh, it's really easy when you go to any museum here to tell who was a Habsburg in any of the portraits or artwork. Uh, are there any guns? In There are some. Uh, Moldavia is a protector as well. I imagine that they'll, because we're allies, they'll probably join me in, in trying to leave. Tunis and uh, Serbia. build these real fast like let's give up on this because it's zero percent success now is there a different law we could try try and get propertyed women ah, let's try and ban slavery yeah it seems unlike and now everyone's trying to revolt is it because of the it's because I want people not to be slaves? Come on. Come on, chill out. Just want, you know, human rights is all. Or is they they wanna be they wanna censor people. Don't do that. That's not nice. Yeah, fight it out. Duke it out. You do you. Uh, Sardinia Piedmont will join the Ottomans. Interesting. Uh, Conquer State. Add that to it. Uh, War Reps. We want Ottomans to pay us. Sway Country. Maybe we can get the British to join. Offer obligation. The Russians don't want to join. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Are the British not gonna join me? Is this, is this bad, bad? Because, um... Oh, I have one. I have, oh no. I'm, I'm at a loss for words, I don't know what to do. How? Eh? Are they supporting both sides? Uh, 
Um, what if I just back down from this? Uh, th they'll just resubjugate us. Fantastic. Uh, makes no difference. Um, uh oh. Uh oh, I think we've lost. <laughs> How to fix? Um. Okay, so, so everything just disappeared, and I still exist. So I'm gonna say that that's a victory, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a cut here, and just accept victory as me still existing. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time, and we'll um. We'll we'll do war a little better that time. Uh, see you then. Bye.